Hi dear students, this is Vetri. Today we are going to see about evaluation of postfix expression using stack. So here we have the algorithm. The first step of algorithm is we have to make an empty stack for pushing and performing the operation. Now first we have to make an empty stack. Okay. Then read the character one by one. For example, A B plus. It's an a, B plus, it's an postfix expression. So we have to read the character one by one. Okay? And then, if the incoming character is operand, if the incoming character is operand, push, the, push it onto stack. This is completely contracts to, uh, infix to postfix conversion. Okay? So, if it is an operand, we have to place it into stack. And if it is an operator, Pop last two operand and perform operation and push the answer into stack. For example, here I am giving the value for A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 2. Okay. So, the expression become 3, 2 plus. Okay. So, first operation is I have to read 3. So, 3 is an operand. It's a number. So, I am going to push it into stack. And then, next read, 2. Okay, now I have two operands. Then, the incoming character is operator. So, what I have to do? I have to perform, I have to take last two elements. Last two elements from the stack. Here I have only two elements. So, I am going to take 2 and 3. And then perform, what is the operation? Addition. So, I have to perform addition. So, what will be the answer? 2 plus 3 is 5. And then I have to store the answer in stack. So, the final value will be the evalu evaluated answer. Okay. So, that is the evaluation of this uh, operation. It's just a simple one. I will go with an, another example. Let us see. Okay, here we go. Here is an example. A, B, C, D plus E star plus F plus star. It's an postfix expression. So, from the question itself, we can easily find out it's an postfix expression because operands are at left side, operator aligned at right side. So, we can uh, come to conclusion it's an postfix expression, right? Then, so here I have the values for the variables. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 operands. So, I have the values for those operands as numbers. Okay. Now, I can write this as, let us see, 6, 5, 2, 3, plus, what is the value of E? 8, star plus value of f is 3 and then plus star. So, this is the first step. Okay. Sometimes in question, they will give the numbers directly. So, we can start proceeding from step 1 onwards. Okay. But if they, they didn't give the value uh, for the operand, so we have to uh, assume some any value or else they used to give the values for the operand. So, we can use it. Right. Okay, now I have this question. I am going to erase. Okay, so here is the equation. See, from this post piece expression, what is the first step? I have to make an empty stack. Okay, and then I have to read one by one. So, read 6. Then, Read 5 and then what about the next one? Read 2. Next 
सिक्स फाइव टू एंड थ्री ओके नाउ आई हैव इंसर्टेड ऑल दिस फोर ऑपरेंस देन व्हाट अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वन इट्स एन ऑपरेटर रीड प्लस सो व्हाट आई हैव टू डू सी what i have to do i have to take last two element from the stack so what are the two elements 3 and 2 so which operation i have to perform it's a plus operation so what will be the answer 5 okay so 6 already there and 5 it's already there and i have added these two okay so i can remove these two and then i can push this 5 into stack okay now Next one is eight. Read eight. Already I have six, five, five, and now I have push eight into stack. See after that I have to perform multiplication operation. So now I am going to read star. Okay. so as per the logic what i have to do i have to take last two element so it is 8 and 5 i have to perform multiplication 8 5 is 40 right so then 6 5 now i have to remove this two and i have to push this value into stack 40 okay now i am going to read plus operator Read plus six. So I have to take last two elements. What are the two elements? Forty and fifty. Sorry, five. What what is the operator? It's plus. So I am going to perform addition, and then I have to store this value into stack forty-five into six. Okay. now after plus what is the next character it is 3 so 3 means it's a operand i have to push it into stack already i have 6 45 and now i have to push 3 into stack okay then i'm going to read plus so what is the last two elements 3 and 45 so i have to perform addition operation 45 plus 3 it is 48 so 48 already i have 6 in my stack okay the final character is star so multiplication i am going to perform read star So the last two elements is forty eight and six. Forty eight six up. So what will be the value? Forty eight. Six multiplication. What will be the answer? Six eight up. So totally two eighty eight. Okay. So I have to store this value into stack. so that's the final answer after evaluating this expression the answer will be 288 for the given values for the expression okay so that's the whole thing so usually they used to give the expression with the operand like a b c like that and then they will give value for those operand okay otherwise they will give the value directly they will ask to perform the evaluation okay using stack so that's the whole principle i hope you understood the logic very well if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section and keep support thank you dear students